So Chris, thanks for sitting with us today. And thanks for let's me. start at the very beginning as far as skateboarding is concerned. Where did it okay. all begin? Um, for me, it began uh, two years after I saw a kid skate out front of my grandmother's house. He skated by and he just looked so cool and the board looked so cool and I wanted to do that. And I was really kind of a physical kid so I'd ride my bike a lot and I'd kind of like make physical challenges all the time. I got like completely obsessed with skateboarding so I'd start like writing all my sentences because you'd have to write sentences on the blackboard at school and I'd write all my sentences like having to do with a skateboard or a skateboarder or skateboarding and then cool enough my library at my school had um, skate magazines and one was the Tunnel of Love uh, Mario. Mario. Yeah, yeah, Tunnel of Love one. That and BMX I Plus. I think I had a, uh, an AM checkout. Dave, <laughs> I think you did, actually. <laughs> I liked anybody with the name Chris and anybody that was from any sort of area that... So I am solely responsible Yeah, you just for nailed it. You Chris. nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> When did you first learn about the whole scene going on in Philly? Um, I learned about the scene going on in Philly in Transworld's issue where Chris Markovich was kickflipping uh, Carlsbad Gap. Yeah. It was all painted all crazy on the, on the cover. And they had a Love Park article in it and it was like in Philly and I was super excited and all these dudes were like the dudes in Philly. And so I'd look at it, I read the article a million times, I'd draw pictures out of it and stuff like that and the train would, would drop you off right across the street from Love. So the first time we went, we took the train and we just guessed and eventually found our way out and just looked across the street, it was right there. And it was the same year that I got that magazine and there it was and I was super duper excited. I think I was 10 years old. All the guys from the article were there. Stevie was there, Matt Reason was there, Ricky Oyola, Sergei Chernowski, like all of the dudes. I remember the first time I was there, I was like the annoying little kid that that asked Matt Reason a lot of questions. And I sat there, and because he was sitting on the ledge, so I sat next to him and I just started asking him questions. And he was super duper cool. And it probably wasn't like a moment for him, but it was such a moment for me, and it impacted the way that, like, probably the way that I'm a professional now because of how cool he was when I was 11. And those guys were hard to break through to, so, you know, little <laughs> Stevie and all those guys, yeah. Ricky, how did that whole thing go? Um, you know, I think it's just always being there and just kind of being around in the Philly scene and going to like Sub-Zero contests and starting to film in that area, shoot photos with the same photographer and, and, and film at the same spots. And then eventually you just kind of know each other. So, you know, you're filming for Sponsor Me tapes and stuff like that, you get sponsored. Uh, how does the whole Zero Jamie Thomas thing happen? Um, I was sponsored by Circa with Jamie, and he was like a, a major force pulling for me to get on that team, um, him and Muska, which was awesome. So we were on a trip one time, and my current board sponsor like didn't have any plan of, of like when I should turn pro or anything like that because they were just like oh well like feeling out the dude. Jamie asked like hey what's the deal like with you turning pro and I was like oh yeah like I don't know they, they don't really know like when he was like dude there's no plan that's kind of crazy but I was starting to kind of dress accordingly and finding my own style and what I wanted and it just happened to be darker so it fit zero more. Mm. And he knew that in like two years, it would be right there. So he was like, hey, like, what do you think about, uh, about doing this?
Chris, I want to say thank you for doing this interview with us. You're very welcome. I know welcome. you're a very, very busy man. Enjoy your time off. And <laughs> as a fellow East Coaster, I'm very proud of you. Oh, well, thank you. Thank <laughs> you very much. Thanks for, thanks for uh, having me and also being in that mag. Get me psyched for... I'm Jersey. turning red, if that's possible.